Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing a scraped painting with some gloss enamel. We're gonna to try to pull it off, see if we can make a decent painting. Uh, the last couple of scraped paintings I've tried to do with the glass enamel, they didn't turn out very good. But I, I have an idea, kind of a theory on why that might be. So we're gonna see if we can fix that today. So let's go ahead and talk about our colors. We'll get them open and we'll start getting to painting. So here we've got, uh, this is like a gray blue, like a, a really dark gray, all like maybe slight blue tint to it. Then we've got like a light blue, almost like a powder blue or baby blue. And then we've got a dark brown and then we have a really dark blue, almost gray. So it's like a, the opposite spectrum of this, which is dark gray, almost like a little bit of blue. This is dark blue with a little bit of gray. So I don't know if we're gonna use this color, kind of depends on how the rest of it goes, uh, but we're gonna see kind of how we can, if we can kind of pull this off. So I'm gonna move these bad boys and we're gonna get these paint cans open and stirred and then we'll get to painting. So let's just go ahead and now that we've got those open and stirred, we can go ahead and start painting. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and paint the background, the dark gray. Uh, this will give us a very heavy background that once the other colors are applied to, um, you know, we should be able to really kind of see those colors. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our gray and the tool that we'll be using to scrape is this uh, plastic trowel. So let's go ahead and pull the paint out to the rest of the canvas paper, or the uh, watercolor paper here. And we're using a foam brush just because it's a little easier to get a uh, flatter, more consistent coverage with the little foam brush. I just find it's a little easier than using a normal brush, but of course you could use a normal brush if you wanted to. So we're gonna push this paint all the way out to the edges. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit just so you guys can see it if you couldn't. Believe it or not, you could actually do kind of a minimalist painting where you just put a little bit of paint on there, slash, put some slash marks and call it a day. There's probably people who do that. All right, so we're gonna run this down, almost good. actually do a painting like that. Just a really thin, simple, kind of minimalist painting. With a little bit of gloss enamel, maybe just two colors. We'll just brush the top or the background one color and then brush another color over it. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, cool. So now we've got our background done. Put that little foam brush in some water and then we're gonna move on. All right, so we're gonna move this paint aside because we don't need it. I'm actually gonna pull these a little far away. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put it on our trowel and then pull it across. Now, I think one of the issues I generally run into is that I push too hard on the device. So I'm not gonna push super hard today. I'm just gonna kind of float it. All right, so I'll just kind of put that there and Probably go over it one more time. Just to see if I can get a little bit better coverage. 
Okay, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of the painting. Just gonna put the paint on there and not push it down. And since this is not the same size as this, I'm just gonna do three sections here. Gonna kind of go to the end here, kind of fill the end, and then we're gonna pull it through. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're going to move our brown and then we're going to move into our next color. So we're just going to put it right on there and we're going to try to float it. So I really don't want these colors to mix as much as possible. They're going to somewhat. That's just kind of the nature of these paintings. Um, so what we're going to try to do is just, you know, Pull the predominant color, which is the one that we're putting on now. And we're only going to pass through one time. All right, not too bad, actually. Okay. So now we'll put our color on again, do the same thing for the bottom and then the middle. All right, I think that's good. All right, same thing. I'm gonna kinda push it to the edge just to make sure. And then I am kinda tilting the trowel so that this side is lifted but the back is pushing down and that's to prevent it from suctioning to the paper so i'm not trying to pull off the previous layer i'm trying to push it through okay done good it's good so far all right so I do have a third, I do have this other color I was going to add, but I think honestly, I'm not going to add it because we're getting some pretty decent movement and the colors are very dark. It's a very dark painting. You can, you can kind of tell right away, um, but I kind of like it about that. It's not your typical colors. So let's go ahead and add our last layer of blue. Just enough blue to cover the trowel here and that, that should be good and yes we are going to end up going over some of the stuff we already did but it's kind of part of the design so we're going to push it back to the edge we're going to tilt it forward I'm just going to go back a little bit there we go and now we're going to pull that paint through there And that's it. So, all right, I'm, I'm not gonna do any more. I kind of know right now, uh, looking at it, that if I go over it with another color, it'll probably end kind of badly. Um, there's a couple of things. So let's talk about this painting real quick. Let me take this glove off so I can kind of hold the camera. Um, I like the colors of it. 
So definitely an interesting color choice. Um, very kind of different, not used to, it's not like what I normally do. This glove is just, glove is coming off. Um, now let's kind of look at it and talk about it. So overall, not a bad piece. Like I, I like the scrape on it. I like the coloring, not bad. Um, the design turned out good. I do like it pretty consistent um, across the board. The only thing that I really don't like is these heavy pockets where the paint um, didn't get scraped. So to me, that's, that's kind of bothering me. Um, but it's not too terrible. I mean, it is, it, it feels like it's kind of part of the design, but at the same time, like it, it feels like it's been missed. Um, so ultimately I'm not a fan of that, but you know, some people might like it. So it depends on how you want to approach this. Uh, but again, I don't want to add the last layer of color because I have a feeling it will ruin it. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye guys.